All right, time now for another episode of Just Hanging. And today, getting a chat with my friend and uh, co host of the KNC Masterpiece, Corey Majors. And Corey, we have a special guest. Uh, who do we have joining us? Yeah, this is, uh, this is my middle son, Carter. Uh, Avery is currently probably dominating Fortnite with the likes of Ronald Guzman or, you know, one of the players out there. Uh, and uh, Lucy is probably tap dancing around the house. Carter just likes to hang out with dad. So we, we do a lot of it. Carter, how would you rank the majors' kids? Like, are you the are you the first ranked, or is it Lucy? Like, how would you rank you and your siblings? I feel like I'm the nicest one. Yeah. So I'd say me first. Yeah. Court, your dad was was agreeing with uh, with you earlier. He said that you're number one, mm-hmm. but he also said that Lucy and your brother are tied for first as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a big tie. They're great kids. Yeah. yeah. All right, Corey, so going to start with some basics. Uh, let's start with favorite food. Uh, favorite food. I'm going to say at the moment, it's ribs. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun making ribs on the green egg, and uh, so that's pretty much where I've been locked in lately. So it's ribs. So you're an amateur professional, amateur professional barbecue griller. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're like you're 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 towing that line with the all the time you've spent. You definitely went from like amateur at first to now having like legit expertise. But what what advice would you give the amateur griller or barbecuer that was really helpful when you were first starting? Uh, be patient. Uh, that's the one thing that I learned the most is like you can't rush the process of smoking uh, anything. Uh, you can, you know, change heats and stuff like that, but the more patient you are with it, because I'm, I was always the guy who was like trying to take it off the grill before it was even ready. Uh, and since I've kind of really calmed down on it, uh, I think be patient is, is really good advice for somebody that's just getting started. All right. Favorite movie. Oh man. Jeez. So the movie that I will stop down and watch every time, no matter what is blue streak. Uh, I've always been a fan of that movie. I probably, I mean, I'm, I know so many lines from it and, uh, and that's been me and my roommate used to watch it back in, uh, in my twenties. And now if it's on TV, I will watch it. Uh, but I also love for love of the game. So those two games kind of are big games for me. The blue Stri- Oh, do we have a he is Hamilton. Hamilton. He loves Hamilton right okay. now. Well, I mean, who doesn't? Those Hawaiian chicken nuggets I had last night for dinner. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the thing with Blue Street that I love, that was Dave Chappelle before he was like a big deal. He was what, mm-hmm. Tully, right? That was his character yeah. name, Tully? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, one of my favorite lines is he took my shoelace and said I couldn't read good. And it's supposed <laughs> to be read well, and that's the greatness about the line. Uh, what about favorite TV show? Uh, TV show. I always will go back to sports night. Uh, it was uh, Eric Sorkin. That was probably one of my favorite things he's ever done. It kind of always like to imagine uh, Dan Patrick and the, you know, the, the whole way that thing worked out. Uh, but I just like the writing. I like the way that they did the West wing walk around the studio thing. And it was, uh, it was funny too. And then it had a really cool ending the way it all went down. So sports night was my favorite. All right. Favorite board game. Oh, what board games do we like to play? I like Monopoly. Yeah, but I beat y'all so bad at Monopoly all the time. It's no fun for me anymore. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I guess Monopoly is it. We like, like to play a lot of the, the other fun games, like recognize, like cards on the head. and We like a lot of charades. poker around here. Charades. He likes charades. Twister. Okay. Yeah, Twister. I'm not good at Twister anymore, though. Okay. So. All right, so favorite favorite video game? What do you think mine is right now? Call of Duty. Yeah, uh, Jared, I got in on the show early, and I'm going to finish those games, I promise. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get through it, but uh, I have I kind of got sucked into to the Call of Duty tournaments with Jeff Kavanaugh and a bunch of the Tolos, and it's been an absolute blast. So I guess right now, that's where I am, but it was always Madden. Like, it was always Madden growing up. Okay, so. I, I was going to ask you, your favorite all-timer, so Madden is is the answer to that? Yeah, and RBI baseball because Brett Saberhagen threw sidearm. It was amazing. <laughs> I remember the first time that, like, pitchers were in, like, these video games. Like, they did the things that were, like, more or less what they did as opposed to everyone throwing like this. And that was, yeah. like, mind-blowing. And now 
it's like their mannerisms are exactly what they are. Like when they strike someone out, the way they hop off the mound, it's like, it's incredible. I don't know. Yeah, how to- I, I saw that the other day with one of my pitchers. And then on top of that, like uh, I was playing choppy and I noticed the little Nike swoosh on the back pocket. And I was like, dude, these details are just ridiculous. All right. Favorite. You've got three kids. We've talked about this. What was your favorite kids movie or cartoon that you had to watch? Like, you know, you're sitting there with them, but like, Hey, it's actually pretty enjoyable. Oh, with them. Uh, man, I, I think that I like Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is a lot of fun to watch with them. Uh, what other Steven, he's been watching Steven universe and I, I went through that series with him and it's pretty awesome. It's interesting, and it's a little – sometimes I'm like, this is an adult cartoon. This is not a child's cartoon, but uh, but it's still a lot of fun. But I, I do remember – I watched this a lot of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody uh, when, when Avery was younger. So that was – Disney was where we kind of locked it in all week. All right. Favorite type of clothing? So not like a specific brand, but like hat or mm-hmm. sweatpants or basketball shorts. Like what's your favorite type of clothing? During this quarantine, I have made a commitment to not wear anything but gym shorts. Uh, so even at times, we went to uh, we we went and socially distanced, ate dinner uh, in uh, the in-laws' backyard, and I wore a polo shirt and gym shorts. So uh, if I can, I've been wearing this 105.3 The Fan T-shirt every day on air. Uh, so I'm just trying to stay consistent. The only time that I have put on a pair of pants uh, during this entire stretch has been to go to Kevin's wedding, uh, which I also was late for and got locked out of. So I didn't even, I could have wore gym shorts that day. They wouldn't know. He likes sandals. He likes sandals. Sandal. Yeah. Not a bad one. Uh, all right. Corey, I know you, uh, you played sports growing up. What is your proudest athletic accomplishment? Um, let's see. Uh, I was, I hit a home run off of Kerry Wood in high school. Did you uh, really? Yeah. And it was during a, like, during a tournament and I was a fresh, uh, I was asked to, uh, you know, pinch hit in a situation and nobody had been hitting him that day. And it was a, I think it, it was either, I think it was the Ulyss tournament or the Ennis tournament. I can't remember which one. Maybe it wasn't Maybank. Uh, but I remember they didn't have a fence. I just hit it far enough. I made, I made connection and I hit it just far enough to be like, keep running fat boy. And so it will, I don't know, like if it would have been an hour of the park over the fence home run, but it went to the gap and just kept going. So that's still pretty cool. Carrie, I don't think Carrie would give up many hits in high school. So uh, no, no, no. And you know what? I don't even know if they counted the tournaments, uh, at the time, like if they yeah. had knowledge of that, but I just remember the coach coming to me and nobody had done it. And he was like, whatever, freshman, go try. And I was like, yes. I didn't know who he was, so it didn't really matter at the time. So That's pretty cool. Mine is, mine is uh, whenever I was in basketball, I won, like, literally every single basketball game through that whole season. Yeah, they had an awesome team last year. I'm waiting for them to get back going. What's the, the team name? What were y'all this year? We have the Nets. They were the Nets. Yeah, the Nets. Wow. yeah, their coach was awesome too. He was a great coach, really good coach. Uh, all right, what is your hidden talent? Who, um, I can play some music, I guess. Like I don't, pl- I don't talk about music a lot, but like I can sit down on the piano and not play a song you've heard, but make up something that sounds good. And I learned how to play guitar on my own, so I, I played clarinet. Uh, and saxophone growing up so I was in uh, I'm kind of musically inclined but I'm not a I'm not a musician by any means but I do play some music all right what was uh what is something who or something people don't know about you let's say this it, you know you're on the air every day for several hours a day I think listeners have a pretty good idea who you are but what's something you think that they might have no clue about um, I don't know. I talk about Lucy a lot, so I think they know a lot about about that. Uh, that's a that's a really interesting question because I'm pretty open about a lot of my life. What do you think? 
I'm pretty sure you haven't told them about the doghouse or the truck we've made. All right. So my my dad was a carpenter uh, when I was growing up. He worked on on houses and uh, he did framework and all sorts of stuff. And that's how he did his. You know, that's how he lived life. Well, my grandfather. He was a woodworker also, and he built a boat and stuff like that. Whenever uh, I was growing up, he had his awesome wood shop. And so I never really did a lot of it, but Carter's gotten me into it while we've been here. He's been like, we're doing projects. So we built this, we built this wooden truck, and he did a lot of the work on it. I just made cuts for him. And then he was like, all right, let's do some puzzles. And I was like, all right, cool. And then he was like, now let's build a doghouse. And I was like, oh, okay. So I, I kind of, you know, put my mind to it. And we just got done building a doghouse. And it's out here in the backyard. And then uh, now he wants to build a swing, a swing set. I was like, hold on. Like, it was, he's already got plans for a tree house. So I can, I can build some stuff with, uh, with wood uh, based on, I guess, just being around it my whole life. So it's pretty impressive. And you got you got that right there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can build Lego kids like crazy. I think I forgot what I was gonna say. Mm. Wait, get, wait for it. We'll get back to you. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll get back to you, Carter. But okay, what's the best gift you've ever received? Oh man, like, uh, and I don't mean I know they're like not like like something. Uh, my dad taught me a lesson, but like an actual, like, pre you know, Christmas, birthday. Present? Like okay. Um, so, you know, when we moved to middays, you know, we've spent 10 years working weekends and nights and I had four jobs while we were still a weekend show and you know, we were scratching everything could, but I, I was hustling for everything I could. And whenever we moved to weekdays, uh, it was right around Christmas time after Jerry had told me to calm down or whatever. And Adrian was really proud of our, our ratings numbers and everything. And she said, look, you worked so hard. You know, we want to give you something that, that you actually deserve, you know, because I always am like, I, I don't need a gift for Christmas or anything. So they got me the green egg. And I don't like to spend money, dude. I don't, I'm cheap. And I thought, oh, my gosh, it's too expensive. So I've made use of it a lot because they knew how passionate I was about cooking for the family. And uh, and then on top of that, this pop that Carter got me for Father's Day, it's yeah. Aquaman, and everybody loves Aquaman, so. Yeah, that is true. All right, person you got to meet that was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I met this person, and the person you would most like to meet who you have not met yet. Well, that's interesting, because um, <laughs> I, when I was, uh, when I was younger, uh, I got to go on a, a cruise with the new kids on the block. And I was like in fourth grade and we, we won a cruise through Coca-Cola, like a sweepstakes cruise and then a trip to Disney world. Uh, so, uh, so I was, I was really excited about that. But then at the Super Bowl in Houston, I got to interview Joey McIntyre about that. And I was just like stoked about the fact that I went on a cruise and I got to bring it up and we talked about it. And he was like, I remember that cruise. And I was like, this is wild. So that was kind of fun. And that's kind of crazy. Cause that's just outlandish. Uh, person that I would most, I don't know, this is kind of weird. Jennifer Aniston. I'd love to sit down and talk with her. Uh, she is my Blake Lively, if you will. Uh -huh. um, and, but on top of that, like some of the successful things she's done in her career are pretty crazy. So Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, Carter. I remember now. Oh, yeah. I built, I drew white prints for the doghouse. Yeah, he drew the prints. He drew the uh, the blue prints. Well, not white prints. So you are way more talented than I am, and that's not even up for debate. Uh, all right, perfect pizza. Build me your perfect pizza. Toppings, cheese, crust, everything. Oh, uh, wife, wife has a uh, crust that she makes. I have not baited on the egg yet. Uh, that's something that we have not gotten to because uh, it's been so hot lately. I just got a pizza stone, so I'm really looking forward to that. But my wife has her own crust. Uh, and then, so I, I've always been a fan of the meats, but when she makes it, it's the margarita style, uh, mozzarella and basil leaves and marinara. That's it. That's all I need. I'm happy. I only like cheese. Yep. Just, yeah, no, there you go. That's easy then. Uh, all right. What's your, your ideal breakfast? I know that's a question that, uh, circulated through the radio station a couple years ago. So you've had some time to think about this. 
Yes, uh, and every Father's Day and birthday, I get breakfast in bed. I'm a lucky dad. My wife, she loves having breakfast in bed, so everybody in the house on their birthdays, uh, biscuits and sausage gravy, uh, and you know, and bacon on the side, you know. So, what do you got? Mine is whenever it's my birthday, uh, mom bakes me something very special. I uh, wake up in the morning, I get breakfast and bread, and my special thing is Carter pancakes. Yeah, she makes Carter pancakes, pancakes in the name and it's spelling out Carter with whipped cream. Oh, okay. But yeah. not Avery pancakes, yeah. just Carter pancakes. Well, he gets them if he wants, but it'll be yeah. Avery pancakes. They're just, yeah. you know. They're the Carter pancakes. pancakes. I like that. Uh, all right, Corey, what, uh, what are your thoughts on the robot revolution? What? What do you mean, robot? Re what are you talking about? Just your thoughts on the robot revolution. Um, I don't think that it's a real thing, and I think that if we just turn the water sprinklers on, that they're gonna, you know, shock themselves, and we'll be fine. Uh, it's not like aliens or apes. Like that's something that's a real concern. Robots or not. All right. If animals could talk, uh -huh. would their accents be dependent upon their species, or would it be? based on where they were geographically in the world. Like a French poodle is obviously speaking French, all right? Even uh, if the French poodle was born in Dallas, Texas? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like that's the thing. I think it just gets passed down that way. Um, and I've actually put a lot of thought into this before. We have a, uh, a Landry here. I'll show you Landry real quick. He is a, Rod a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Uh, he is... Mixed with a lab. Yeah, mixed with a lab. Um, his... His job uh, in uh, in Africa, from what I understand, and Jared, you may be able to help me with this, is about six of those dogs will help keep lions away from a camp. So uh, they they have their hair stands up on their back. So I just assume I don't know where Rhodesia is, dude, but I assume he speaks Rhodesian. I uh, just curious, what what uh, is it? Just random that that's your. Like, that you got a Rhodesian Ridgeback? Was that, like, uh, you guys really wanted that? Because uh, Rhodesia is actually really near. I mean, it's in southern Africa. Uh, and I guess, like, South Africa, in, in some parts, it borders Rhodesia. So it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more or less familiar with where Rhodesia is. Okay. No, I, uh, it's real random. We, we were looking to uh, rescue a dog. We, did, we needed a family dog. We were trying to get a pup to hang out around Lucy and alert us uh, to let us know, you know, if she's having a seizure or anything. And uh, we just found him. Mm. Dog. He has not done that part of the job, but he's been the perfect family dog for us. So we, yeah. we really enjoy He's really lucky to be with us. So. Yeah. He's a All right. Dog. Uh, Give me an impression or an impersonation of any one of your teammates on the fan. Oh, uh, oh man, this is <laughs> uh, how, how many people have done Sean so far on this? Because I feel like everybody has not, a Sean impression. Yeah, not not. I don't think. I think maybe RJ has, but I don't know if, if everyone has. All right, all right. Uh, Corey. <laughs> that's my, that's my son's Corey impression. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'll have to go with Sean. Coming up next, uh, the greatest thing that you've ever heard Jerry Jones say. Actually, that sounds more like Arnie Spanier than it does Sean. <laughs> uh, Texas is going to lose. Uh, so that's, a, that's my Arnie Spanier impression. That works. <laughs> All right, some either ors for you. Chicken nuggets or chicken fingers? Mm, nuggets. Nuggets. Go-karts or bungee jumping? Go-karts. Singing or dancing? Did you say sitting? Singing or dancing. Oh, uh, singing. I don't dance anymore. Uh, ketchup or mustard? Uh, mustard now. Used to be ketchup as a child. Chocolate or vanilla? Uh, vanilla. Always have been. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Every but, time. By the way, I'm with you on vanilla. I, I think we're in the minority of people who would choose vanilla. No, it's uh, wild. Pancakes or waffles? Um, waffles. Waffles. They have little built-in syrup pockets. It's amazing. Ooh. Uh, Pecan or pecan? Pecan, and this comes from somebody whose family has a pecan farm in Oklahoma. So okay, well there you go. Route or route? Uh, route. It's a route if the Rangers are winning by twenty. Not because I'm Caribbean or Caribbean. 
Caribbean. The what? Uh, <laughs> crayon or crown? Crayon. I don't know. I don't, I've never understood crown. Uh, me neither. All right, you, you have to get rid of one of these functions in your life. Copy and paste or undo? Oh, uh, man, I can't get rid of undo because I, me I mess up a lot. So I guess I can get rid of copy and paste because I, can, I screw up too much to not, have the, not use the undo button. All right, last thing, teammate identification. So any one of your 1053, the fan teammates, nicest? Mm -hmm. uh, the nicest? Who um brought us class clown Jeff person who tries to be funny but isn't as funny as he thinks he is me you can't say you okay um I guess I guess Mike Daddy. although Mike's really funny though yeah. so per person you'd most want backing you up in a fight uh Chiafalo. The person who acts the toughest but wouldn't harm a fly. Jared Sandler. It's probably actually a good answer. Uh, person you'd most want giving you a pregame speech to fire you up. Uh, Gavin Dawson. Uh, I know a lot of people like think that he's just real easy going, but that dude's going to give you a really good talking to. Daddy. All right, last one. You're playing like bar trivia or Jeopardy. You've got a partner, someone who knows a lot about a lot. Everything. Yeah. Who? My co-host, Kevin Hagelin. That dude right there, perfect person to have on your side when it comes to being a Ben Stein type person. Yeah. Maybe not an expert in one thing, but a lot of everything. Corey, thanks for just hanging. Thanks, man.